So today's going to be an Oracle four card you pick with Dyadic Cross finish. So I hope you like it. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I thought, let's devote a little time to us, you know, and kind of build up our spirits and, and see what, uh, what strengths uh, we might have that we can bolster a little bit. So this is for us. Okay, so these are good. These are the Taro Mucha. This is another Los Scarabio, but they come in a cool case, which I love. And these cases are so useful when they stand up like this, because you can take the little booklet out and you still have the cards kept nicely there. And these have a, a good booklet. I mean, it's, it's cool looking paper. Uh, it's got uh, interesting uh, suggestions for divination of the cards. And, uh, you know, it's, la it'll, it's lasty. So we have that. Now the cards, I'll show you before we get started. Are easy to use. They're, they're beautiful on the back, and uh, they're really nice uh, on the front. And they're not too hard to interpret. I mean, they're typical uh, Rider weight uh, iconography, and uh, you can figure out what they mean without very much trouble at all. So, you know, if you don't get to look at a lot of cards, tune in to me, and then you're going to see some kind of cards because I'm getting them all the time. And um, at one point, we'll have to start to give some of these away because we've just got too many. But uh, not now because I love everything I've got. Very greedy. But uh, hopefully these cards will give us some good answers, and we'll get working on that. Tarot Mucha. Done in the uh, style of the artist uh, Alphonse Mucha. Google it. Okay, so the four card you pick. This will be perfect for us, actually. Four card you pick. Four card you pick. And then we'll do diet cross for each of the four. So that'll make for a nice um, reading for everybody today. Get a little energized. Let's get some juice back in our system and uh, deplete, uh, or, or re re not deplete, but uh, nourish our depleted uh, energies. So right off the bat, we're going to take four cards. One, two, three, four. And the best thing that you can do is to take a deep breath. Let it all out slow, and then just think about these four cards and which one, or one, two, three, four, which couple, one, two, three, four, or maybe all of them, one, two, three, four, is going to work for you today. One, two, three, and four. Remember, you can stop the tape if you need to for a second and get uh, reorganized. So now we'll start the reveal and see what we have. If you pick number one as your card today, okay, so this is the seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is always uh, uh, wondering, you know, have I done enough or is there more that I need to do? Uh, is there something lacking here? Uh, could more uh, um, help or, or attention uh, be the answer to what's going on here? So I don't know if I can call this uh, a yes card. I would call this like a maybe card. You know, have I done enough? Do I need to do some more? So that's number one. If you chose number two for your card, then this is the, oh, easily enough, the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is always about partnerships. This is a yes card. This is about partnerships together, maybe even oath-taking, uh, but definitely looking for some uh, compassionate, emotional, some uh, deep uh, partnership that's going to uh, get you through what you're going to do. And you're going to find that, so that's a yes. If you chose number three, okay, so this is the Ten of Wands. You know, wands are always movement, plans, uh, uh, force, uh, getting things done, uh, being an obstacle 
just tickled to us. And with this Ten of Wands, she's really got these all bundled up. They're a little awkward, but she looks like she's really studying on moving this uh, along the way. So the Ten of Wands is always you know, dealing with a lot of issues or maybe making a lot of plans, but whatever it is, it's cumbersome. Uh, but uh, with determination, you can uh, move this along. Not to say you might not drop one or two, uh, but uh, so this is, this is, I'm going to say this is a yes card too, because it's about moving these issues forward. If you chose number four, then we've got the four, easily enough, of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is really, you know, taking some time to look over your value and determine, you know, what you're going to do. If you've got enough, if you need to do some more, if you're going to let it go, uh, are you going to share? Are you not? Probably not. And uh, I'm going to say this is a no card. This is stopping and not doing anything else. And I need to write that down because I forget. So I got no, I got yes, I got yes. And I got maybe in the front here. Maybe, yes, yes, and no. Okay, and put these aside, and then we'll do a dyadic cross for each one. Yep. Okay, so this will be the signifier for this first uh, dyadic cross, and this is a seven of coins, a maybe card. And, um, you know, is there, is there something lacking here? Um, is this as good as it's going to get? Okay. We're going to take six more cards to finish that off. So we'll go right inside here, take one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so this is our signifier, the seven of coins, some doubt, some uncertainty. And the challenge to it is the seven, interestingly enough, of uh, wands. And the seven of wands is really uh, having to defend yourself, uh, but with some pride, with some um, some sort of a feeling that you know, you're deserved, and uh, and or the beginning of, of some sort of a battle. There are lots of actions, there are lots of plans uh, that are popping up, but you feel confident that you can uh, manage the situation. So, have I done enough? Uh, maybe because uh, things are starting to happen, there's not time to devote to this. This fellow almost looks like, as a matter of fact, like he's having to walk away from this. So he may be having to leave, can't stay behind, but always in your head is, okay, I've got to stop there, but I hope that's been enough and challenged by what's coming right now. And you've got to uh, prepare yourself to uh, defend or to plan or to work through those issues. The uh, bottom of this reading then is going to be the King of Cups. And the uh, King of Cups, is just, you know, this has been uh, something that's been fraught with emotion. Um, this king has stood up to address the issue. There may have been some surprises here, but uh, yeah, so the underpinning of all this is this king of cups. And the past of this reading is then the seven. So this is the chariot of the major arcana. So this uh, speaks just about not necessarily things moving fast, but having to get ourselves uh, organized, to get ourselves motivated, to get ourselves on the right track to cooperate and to move this thing forward. This is almost a stalled uh, situation in this card, if you look at that. But this fella is going to manage this. These uh, beasts know uh, who the boss is, although they may not want to move forward. They know that he eventually is going to make this happen. And so that's been the past of that reading. And then the sky of this is going to be the tower card. Okay, so this is, um, you know, at a higher level, some really um, uh, definite stops. Okay, the tree has been shook. Uh, things are going to change, and there's going to be some fallout from it. Okay, that's just the way it's going to be. And then the likely outcome then for the whole thing, if you chose this number one card, that maybe card, is the Ten of Pentacles, which is always good because the Ten of Pentacles says, look, we have found all of our worth. We've paved it into the structure of who we are, and it's holding us up. And uh, this is what's going to uh, make sure that we can carry through. So, yeah, this maybe card uh, turned into a... Um, uh, uh, confidence builder. You know, you can face what you have to do. Uh, we've been through the emotional part of it. We can get ourselves organized. There can be some fallout, but we know we have the value to make this uh, uh, worthwhile. Okay. So we'll put that back and we'll go right into the number two card. And that number two card was the two of cups of so lots of emotion, partnership, maybe even oath taking, uh, some sympathy that we may give or get, um, and some honest, uh, devoted uh, 
partnering to make the situation um, work out. So we're going to take five more cards for this one. This will be one, two, three, four, and five. So this is our, our yes card in our group today as a signifier. Okay? So the signifier is uh, partnering in a, in a meaningful way. The challenge to it, though, is the three of ah celebrations. So it could be that there's more than a couple of people involved here, and uh, we feel uh, celebrated with, with all of them. But we've got to tame this and just partner up and get things done. So this could be, if it's your life, this could be that, yeah, you maybe you had uh, some good luck and you've got a lot of prospects on the horizon, but it's time to make a choice. And uh, so that's one way to look at this. It could be that the uh, the good times are getting in the way of our uh, finding the answer to what we're looking for and getting some commitment for it. The base of this reading then is the King of Swords. Okay, the King of Swords is the fellow who has been in charge. He's known what he's wanted to do, and maybe that's what's happened here. We felt like we've we've, we've been in charge. We've been uh, arranging the situation uh, the way we want it, but uh, maybe it's time now to put that uh, movement away uh, and and get commitment here. The past of this reading is again is uh, knowing that it's time to start to move this thing along. In the sky of this reading is the uh, third so this is death so this is the end of one thing which always means there's the beginning of something else okay so it's the end of one thing and the beginning of something else and then the uh, final outcome is the hanged man and you know I put this card in the in the group uh, mistakenly upside down this should come out like this this is how the hanged man is supposed to appear and I'm not confident in my divinations for these reverse cards, but uh, every time I say, you know, when it comes up and I've been very diligent for them not to be reversed, then I know that I have to pay attention to this. And I'm going to say that this is, is finding the way, really, having figured this whole thing out and decided, yeah, OK, so now uh, I've got a foot down. I can manage this. I see uh, where this needs to go. <clears throat> so that yes card just gets reaffirmed in that reading. OK, we'll go right on. To, and I'm going to fix that uh, hangman and put him in there the way he's supposed to be in there. And we'll go on to our number three, which is the that's the uh, yes card, which is the ten of wands. Now some might tell you that that's a no card, but for some reason I felt today that I needed to call this a yes. Where there's a burden, there's hope, in my opinion. You know, and that's what we've got here. We've got a burden. We've got a difficulty that we can manage, you know. And for me, that's inspiring. And again, some might say it's a difficult card, but I think in this case today, for us, this is going to be, you know, recognizing the challenge and moving through it. Okay, so five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, recognizing that challenge, moving through it, it's a burden, and uh, it's it's uh, a heavy load. Challenge to that, then. Look at that. Hangman comes right back to us. You saw me shuffle. You saw me mix. <coughs> Excuse me. I love it when the cards uh, do kind of play the game with us. The challenge to moving this forward is having been um, having some introspection into the situation, taking a moment to decide, to determine, to um, figure out how's the best way to move forward in this issue. The base of this reading then, again, is the Ten of Pentacles. So it came off of having all this uh, value and knowing where we need to be. Thank goodness, because this uh, journey here is going to require some thought. In the past of this, look at this. This is amazing. I love it when the cards play in the game with us. So these Three of Cups... Again, our celebrations, our get-togethers, and um, so yes, yeah, so there's been a time, if not of active celebration, certainly a time of, of, of pleasure, of looking back and, and feeling, you know, useful or um, a little elated about a thing, and now it's time to buckle down. In the sky, this reading is a three of, of wands, certainly, that's exactly right, because we need to make the plans, we need to look to the future, and just like this hangman is telling us, take a minute to uh, really be sure you're clear on the path or the plan that you need to take. And the final outcome, though, can be 
even though this is a yes, feeling a bit restrained. There's laws, there's rules, there's regulations, there are truths that we have to abide by. So while you may feel restrained, it doesn't mean that you are. It just means that there's some uh, delicacy, there's some difficulty, there's some uh, strategizing that has to be done here. So, uh, you know, really go into yourself because you can't see clearly what that's going to be. Go into yourself and decide how to put that first foot forward. Okay. That was the third card. And then, if we're going to look at the fourth card, which was the No. So this is the Four Pentacles. And the Four Pentacles is telling us, listen, we know what we're worth, but I can also see the end of it here. Okay? I know exactly how much I've got. It's not like it's overflowing. I don't have ten Pentacles flooding this, this scene. I've got four Pentacles, and if I use one, I've only got three. If I use two, I've only got two. You know, so this needs to be a wise... Uh, choice and this needs to be carefully thought out and uh, these are values so it's, that's what they're for it's, it's to spend it's to use your value is there to bring you more value but you have to be wise about how you go about it so we're going to take four uh, five cards out of here one two three four and five right there and see what we can figure out if this was your card or one of your cards today, hold on to your value. Challenged by what? Challenged by, okay, this is, there's, a, there's a lot of compassion, there's a lot of emotion, there are a lot of feelings. This is a great big offer of that, but look, there's a dove landing in here. So it tells us this is a soothing situation. There can be a resolution uh, coming forward with this. So the challenge to that maybe is not getting too caught up in that resolution or even could be just recognizing that there's 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 cool water being offered there's peace coming uh, the um base of this reading is again uh, i always like to say this is my card for working together for a common cause okay someone's making the plan someone's doing the work someone's talking about the design and so yeah the the base of this has been kind of working this out because there were three here, and look, now there's four. Three of Pentacles, now there's four of Pentacles. In the back of this reading, we have the Knight of Wands. And so this is the Knight who is raring to go. He's got a plan, he's got some motion, he's got fire in his belly, and he's going to make this happen. So that's where we've come into, but we need to make sure we curb that enthusiasm a little bit to uh, make sure we go forward as, as a wise a king would. This is a king, by the way. Like in the sky, this thing is the tower card. Again, these are uh, these are losses. These are uh, uh, frailties. These are things that we can't avoid uh, that are going to uh, seem like um, a disaster. And in the um, likely outcome of this, we have the 15. Is this the devil? This is the devil. So this was a no card. And so the devil is waiting for us right here, you know, but there's nothing to say that if since we know uh, how this can come out, that we can't change it. We can't uh, lessen the blow or we can't uh, really quench that fire altogether. Now that you know, then you can take more care. OK, accept the hits that you have to, but take care and move forward. And let's face it, you have to move forward. It's going to be inevitable. We are always moving forward. So if, if it does come to some uh, grievance, we have to just accept it, put it behind us and, and keep on going. So that's what I got. If these are your cards today. Hope that worked for you. So that was the read for today. I hope you got something out of that, one or several of the cards. If you didn't, think of some people that you know. Maybe you have some advice now you can lend to someone. If it doesn't land for you today, it might land for you tomorrow, or this may not be a read for you. And if it's not, go on and do something else. But anyway. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.